Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different commonly used test ng assertions? Let me answer. In test ng, we have different assertions. That is, asset equals, asset not equals, asset true, asset false, asset null, asset not null, and fail. Out of all these assertions, which are the different commonly used test ng assertions? This one, asset equals is commonly used, and asset true is commonly used. And remaining all other are used, but they are not commonly used like asset equals and asset true. Okay. These are the two major or commonly used assertion types. But why we have to specify these assertions in our test ng test methods and all? With the help of assertions, we can verify the conditions of the test to pass or fail the test. Why we have to perform testing? Okay. If the test is performing well, we'll pass the test. If the test is not going well, according to the requirements or expectations, if it's not going well, we have to fail the test, right? Either we have to pass the test or fail the test. So how to pass or fail the test based on some condition, okay? This condition will provide to this uh, assertion types and uh, these assertion types with the help of this uh, conditions will either pass the test or fail the test. I'll give you an example. If you go to this uh, Eclipse ID here, one of the class I'll open and here we have these two test methods. In one of the test method, I'll mention the assertions. If I don't mention any assertion here, this test is going to pass every time, okay? Just run this test. No matter how many times you are going to run that, it's going to pass the test because, okay, you are not verifying, okay? You are not verifying any condition to either pass or fail the test, okay? So here I'll do one thing, assert. Assert is a class from, you know, predefined class from test ng. You can hover the mouse and uh, it's not coming for now. It's assert dot, it will come. Assert dot, uh, you see, uh, here you just make sure that it is test ng. Set equals is there, no? Just select one asset equals here. Uh, expected here actual expected what is expected for example i'm expecting it has uh, my name aruna i'm giving but uh, here this is actual actual also aruna if i am giving then put a semicolon what will happen this test will pass or fail this test will pass this time because it's expecting arun it's uh, actual test results are also arun so since they are matching asset equals will pass the test okay run it the test will get passed, you see, because it's matching. Arun is matching with Arun. Okay. So here, instead of Arun, I'll give my last name Moturi. In this case, this condition is going to fail. Okay. Whatever the condition that is specified for asset equals is going to fail because it's expecting Arun, but Moturi is coming, which is not same as Arun. And because of that, this statement will fail the test. Okay. These assertions will either pass the test or fail the test based on the conditions given. Okay. You see, it got failed. The test got failed. You see, it got failed. Because it was expecting Motori, but found Arun, okay, hold the most actually, okay. This is expected, guys, is actual, okay. The reverse I explained, that's okay. So this is what is the thing about assertions. And similarly, we have assert true, okay. So if, if whatever the condition expression I'm giving in this assert true, assert dot assert true, if it is resulting in true, Boolean value true, then the test will pass. Otherwise, the test will fail. These are the commonly used assertion types, okay, in test change. Yeah, remaining also, we may use depending on situation, but they are not commonly used, okay? So hope guys you understood what exactly are assertions and what are the commonly used assertions out of the complete list of assertions we have in test engine. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.